Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. All right, today we're gonna talk about 10 mistakes you don't want to make when paying off debt. So listen, I know there's a lot of buzz going around right now on like quick and easy ways to pay off your debt and clean up your debt. But listen, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Whether it's someone on TikTok or a commercial you see on TV, people are advertising all kinds of things. But you just need to know that paying off debt, it's never going to be easy, okay? So if someone is preaching easy to you, it's probably not true. But the great thing about paying off debt is that it does give you freedom. Freedom of not owing anyone anything. And that is so, so worth it. Plus, your debt payoff doesn't have to take forever or be very complicated, especially if you're using what we call the debt snowball. It's a very simple way to understand how to pay off debt. Yes, it's a marathon, it's a journey, but on average, people are doing an 18 to 24 months paying off all of their debt but their house. So in order for you to have this focused progress, I want you to steer clear of making these 10 common mistakes. All right, the first common mistake when it comes to paying off debt is debt consolidation. Listen, this is basically getting a loan that combines all of your debts into one single payment. Now, I know that may seem like, oh my gosh, that kind of sounds like a good idea because if I have a lower interest rate, or maybe I can't keep up with everything and so it puts it all together in one. But actually, statistically, it increases the lifespan of your loans, meaning you're gonna be in debt longer. So here's the deal, getting out of debt, it is not a math problem about like getting a lower interest rate or doing this or that, that. It is about behavior change. And when you pay off that smallest debt, which is what we teach, paying it off first, and actually having them divided up and knocking them out helps the progress because you are understanding and feeling and experiencing all of those wins. The next mistake is to avoid a debt settlement. So this is how it works. Companies out there will be like, hey, pay us a lot of money and we can settle your debt for you and negotiate with the creditors and all of this and it's gonna be great. But most of the time, they don't end up doing the work and they take your money and you're done. Like, like it sucks. This is, this is some of the worst companies out there. So listen, you're the one that can pay off your debt. You don't need to hire a company to do it for you or to promise that they're going to settle your debt, all this. No, you can do it. Now, you can do debt settlement, especially if you go into collections. A lot of people do this with medical debt. So you yourself can actually go and settle sometimes pennies on the dollar, depending on what the loan is and when it was. But you don't have to pay a company to do that. You can do that. All right, next up are 401k loans. Oh, you guys never borrow money from your 401k, never. And people will do this to pay off their debt. They take money from their, borrow from their 401k and pay off their debt. Listen, you can get hit with tons of penalties, tons of fees and taxes when you withdraw that money. And here's the deal. If you leave your job, if you quit, if you get fired, you have to pay it back. And the IRS says that you have to pay it back by tax day, like on April 15th of the next year, you have to have all of that loan all that cash. So it is a huge risk. Don't do it. Plus, you want your money in your 401k to be building on itself and actually making money instead of taking it out and borrowing from it. All right, another huge mistake people make when paying off their debt is they pay off the highest interest rate first. Now, again, like I said earlier, paying off debt isn't about math. If we were doing math, yeah, that does make sense. I get that. Get rid of the highest interest rate first. But that's not the problem. Math isn't the issue with debt getting out of debt and actually knowing that you have hope to live a debt-free life and to actually work your way out of debt, that's the key. And by doing that is by using the debt snowball, like we talked about earlier, where you list out all of your debts from smallest amount to largest amount, regardless of the interest rate, pay minimum payments on everything, and you pay off that smallest one first. That is the debt snowball, and that is the best, most efficient way to pay off debt versus the highest interest rate first. The next mistake that I hear a lot of people make is getting a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, to use to pay off their debt. But here's the problem is you're borrowing money. You're going into debt, basically, because you're taking equity from your house and borrowing against your house to go and put towards other debt. And it's just not a smart idea. We're not going to go get out of debt by going into debt over here. So mm -mm, not good. Nix it. And here's the deal, too. When you borrow against your house, you're you're risking your house, that if you can't pay the loan on time, no bueno, no bueno. 
All right, before we move on to the next mistake, I want to tell you about one of our sponsors. Living on less isn't easy, especially in this economy, but there is a solution to rising healthcare costs. It's Christian Healthcare Ministries, America's longest serving health cost sharing ministry. They've helped hundreds of thousands of people with billions in eligible medical bills. So to learn more, go to chministries.org slash Rachel. All right, the next mistake that keeps coming up when you're paying off your debt is pretty simple. People don't change their lifestyle. They just stay where they are. They make no other changes. So listen, if you want to get out of debt, you have to change up what you've been doing. As Dave Ramsey always says, you can wonder your way into debt, but you cannot wonder your way out. You have to really, really sacrifice, you guys. This is where you're going to see a lot of movement. So if you've been living the life you've always been living and then trying to get on debt on top of that, the margin that you have or may not have right now is the only thing extra going towards your debt. But if you cut your lifestyle, that's going to give you more money. It's going to free up money within the month to throw at your debt to get out of debt that much faster. So cutting lifestyle is really important. And then also how you make money. Your income is important too. So getting your income up, whether that's taking a different job, asking for a raise, taking on some side hustles, anything around there uh, that's going to bring in more money is going to help you get out of debt that much faster. Another mistake that people make when getting out of debt is that they keep investing. Yes, you heard me right. It is a mistake. People are like, wait, no, what? You should be investing and getting out of debt. But listen, I want you out of debt so bad, like so, so bad, that stopping everything else and putting all of your money focused on one goal should be the goal. Nothing else. So people are like funding this and this and over here and here and then putting any extra they have towards their debt. Stop everything, okay? And you're going to pause it. I'm not saying to never fund your 401k. I want you to get to that very quickly and soon. But taking a few years to pause is not going to be detrimental, Okay. Because when you get out of debt, you're going to free up your income to have even more to invest. So not only are you going to have peace of mind by not owing anyone anything, but you're actually going to have more income to use to invest and make up that money. So once you're out of debt, then you can invest 15% of your income into retirement, which will include your 401k. All right, this next mistake may kind of sound strange, but it is a mistake. The mistake is that people stop giving when paying off debt. Giving needs to be a part of your financial journey regardless of where you're at, you guys. And I always tell people, give a little until you can give a lot. Giving does something to you even in this process, okay? So living with an open hand creates this habit within you that when you're out of debt and you build wealth and you start winning with money, that habit is just going to extend. So I get where it's counterintuitive. You're like, I'm trying to take as much money as possible to get out of debt. Wouldn't I'm giving, that's not going towards my debt. But the character of who you are is is the process as well, okay? And so I don't want you to miss out on that giving, not just for you and for the other people. But again, it does something to your heart and to your soul when you give. All right, you guys, this mistake is a no-brainer, but I've got to say it. Credit card balance transfers. So this is, again, where your credit cards, you, you go and transfer all your credit card debt to a lower interest rate credit card. So moving your debt around, it's not going to do anything, okay? So sure, mathematically, I understand. You're like, yeah, it's a lower interest rate. And and if you do that, like, it's not like, it's not going to keep you from getting out of debt. But I don't want you to think these things are a solution, okay? The solution is you. You're the one that's going to be able to do it, which leads me into the last mistake, is waiting on someone else to pay off your debt. Oh, yeah, I hear you, student loan forgiveness. I hear you. So listen, Waiting around and letting other people, especially people in D.C., to, to clean up, you know, your, your situation and your money and your debt, it's, you're going to be waiting a really long time. You're going to be waiting a really long time. Now, can all that go through and can it help you if you apply for it and all of it? Yeah, absolutely. So it's not a moral thing. Um, but the other part is like, listen, you can do it. And I would not wait around because we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if people are going to actually pay off the debt for you. We don't know. But what we do know is that you can do it. That's what we know, is that you can do it. When you have that belief in yourself and you actually know and start making progress towards paying it off, it's like, oh, you put the destiny back in your hands versus someone else. So there's something powerful about being proactive and taking initiative and saying, I'm going to deal with this myself. 
because it puts you in control of your life versus someone else. Now, you can avoid making all of these mistakes while paying off your debt, but without the right plan, it can be hard to make progress and even harder to get yourself from going back into debt. So with Financial Peace University, you're gonna learn the proven plan to getting out of debt. And this is a course that has helped millions of people take control of their money and say goodbye to debt for good. And so it's an incredible course to go through. It gives you the roadmap basically of how to deal with your money and it gives you the roadmap to debt freedom, which again can be tough. And sometimes it's just that encouragement you need to say, hey, I can do this. So to check out Financial Beast University, make sure to click the link in the description. All right, if you have a friend who is paying off debt, make sure to send them this video to encourage them and to show them the right way to do it that is fastest and most efficient. And remember you guys to take control of your money and create a life you love. Oh,